Hi, today's video I'm just gonna share what I know about the history of music. What is music? Music is found in every known society, past and present, and considered to be cultural and universal. Anywhere in the world you can find music. In a probability, music has played an important role in human life, even before we could speak. Since all people in the world, including the most isolated tribal groups, have form of music, significant evidence has been discovered that the very early men developed primitive flutes from animal bones. As we move further through the history of music, we find increasing evidence of its key role in sacred and secular settings. Although the division into these categories was not defined in this way until many years later. Influences from the West to the East merged into the pre-Christian music of the Greeks and later the Romans. Musical practices and conventions perhaps conveyed by traveling musicians brought a wealth of diversity and invention. It was Pope Gregory who credited with the moving progress of sacred music forward and developing what is now called Gregorian chant, characterized by the hunting sound of the open. Perfect fifth. Some controversy surrounds this claim, but the name has stuck and the music remains distinct. As we move forward in musical time, we begin to enter the medieval period of music, which can be generally agreed to span the period from around 580 to mid-15th century. By this time, music was the dominant art in taverns to cathedrals, practiced by kings to paupers alike. It was during this extended period of music that the sound of music becomes increasingly familiar. From the written music that survives from the monasteries and other important accounts of musical practices, it's possible to assemble an image of a vibrant culture that ranges from the sacred to secular. Throughout the medieval period, the music slowly began to adopt ever more elaborate structures and devices that produce works of eminence, beauty, and devotion. The Renaissance period, the Renaissance period 1450 to 1600, was a golden period of music history. Fred, from the constraints of medieval musical convention, the composers of the Renaissance period forged a new way forward. Husky and Despres is considered to be one of the early Renaissance composers to be a great master in polyphonic style, often combining many voices to create elaborate musical textures. Later, Palestrina Thomas Tallis and William Byrd build on these ideas of Despres composing some of the most stunning motets, masses, chansons, and instrumental works in their own right. Modality was firmly established as a basis for all harmony. Baroque period, the Baroque period, 1600 to 1760, houses some of the most famous composers and pieces that we have in Western classical music. It also sees some of the most important musical and instrumental developments. Italy, Germany, England, and France continue from the Renaissance to dominate the musical landscape. Instrumental music was composed and, inform, and performed in tandem with vocal works. The preferred harmony is tonal and the system of the keys, which is major and minor, is accepted in favor of modality. This lifts the limitation of modes and offers composers the chance to create ever more complex and expressive pieces that combine exciting polyphonic, text polyphonic textures and dynamics. Okay. Some of the periods, I just want to take a pic and post it on this video. So, continue to watch it.